Week number four for Kelly J. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is our six week course where our slimmers are trying to lose a stone in six weeks. Hi, Kelly. Hi. How are you doing? I'm now 45 years old. Oh, congratulations. Happy oh, birthday. Really? <laughs> okay, thanks. Did you have a great yeah. time? Yeah, we did. We did have a good time. There was a surprise on Saturday when I was going to the races. Um, friends and um, their children were invited. So it was like a family day and it was really lovely. Oh, really, really nice. enjoyed it. And then we went to my friend's house afterwards and I was playing with the children. I'm full of bruises. I, we had a really good time. It was right. really good. So, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, it was a good weekend. So, what are the scales saying after a birthday? So, I am not, well, it's it's one and, no, nine and a half altogether. So, I was up to eight. So, it's another one and a half. But it wasn't one and a half because I had that extra little quarter. So, it's yeah. actually one and three quarters. Great. So, that's not, I feel like that's good. Yeah, that's I'm quite really happy good. with that. I am quite happy. And I'd left it and left it till this morning. I've not even checked on any other day because I wasn't sure. But I did try and think about what I was eating and, and protein is my thing. Yeah. This week I went for protein. So I bought falafel. Fantastic. I've had falafel. Um, and my husband said, why have you bought those? You don't like them. I said, no, I think I've just always said I don't like them because I never wanted to try them. And I like them warm. So I have them, I've warmed them up at work, but then put them on my cold salad. Perfect. So it's almost like, so I've really enjoyed that. I had lamb rum. Sorry, go on. I was going to say they're a whole different taste when they're warm, aren't they? Oh, they're really enjoyable when they're warm. Yeah. I think when they're cold, they just taste a bit, I can't even explain, a bit like, Cobble. tofu with nothing on it a yeah. bit like a piece of tofu when i try it without any salad or anything yeah it just tastes a little bit like it's trying to be something it's not yeah but yeah i oh, love yeah. i love it especially dipped in a bit of hummus as well that's really well nice. i've written that down that's my new thing I, i've always eaten dips but my husband likes the hummus like the um uh the not the sweet chili but the the jalapeno one. Yeah. And I've always gone for something else. Like I do like tzatziki and I know that is healthier than others, but I've, we've been sharing the hummus and I like, it's almost like a savory donut. Yeah. And, and I, it's I got do that like lovely consistency to it, hasn't it? Yeah. Like soft and airy. So I've enjoyed those. Definitely. I had those again for lunch today. What was my other thing? On Friday, I had lamb rum at the restaurant but just with Mediterranean vegetables, I didn't. I gave my husband my fondant potato because I didn't fancy it. But I had one of his chips, just yeah. one, <laughs> just so that I could try it. But then once I tried it, and he gave me the middle of his fish because he just got like posh fish and chips, but I didn't have the batter. I just tasted tasted the middle, and it was enough. Wow! And I didn't have dessert, so. Oh, yeah. well done! I'm so proud. I think it's. I know, and nuts, loads of nuts. <laughs> Great. I mean, loads of nuts. That yeah. I've written those down because they were my thing. That and what I've just type tried. of nuts are you having? Well, I've had the unsalted pistachios because I love those. Yeah. Um, but then anything unsalted. So I've just gone for like the you know the ones that are in and I always say like the boring area where they're not dry roasted and things. Yeah. But I've just been having those in my middle drawer at school because we're a nut free school, so. I can't really have them around the children, but at lunchtime or yeah. after school when they've gone, then I've had like, I've paid a bit more money and bought the expense, more expensive protein bars that are like all nut. Great. So, and I literally have two bites of those and put it back in my drawer and then I'll have another two bites. So they're lasting over like three days. Yeah. Um, and I've been calorie counting. Oh, I've been doing a different thing. Wow. So even though I've not lost my highest amount, I feel like because of my weekend and I did drink alcohol and it was hard just to stick to like a gin and tonic when people are giving you Prosecco or they're like, oh, I've bought you a rosé. And you're yeah. like, okay, I'll have it because it's my birthday. So, yeah. And I felt very rough on Sunday, but we had plans to go and see my dad. So we went to see my dad. And then on the way back, I got um, a tuna salad and I ate the tuna salad, just like no pasta or anything in it. Fantastic. And it was, it was in, like a Nasda one, I think. It was from a petrol station, but they had an Asda bit. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. So I just did that and I did treat myself with a cola zero. And I know it's got no sugar in it, but it's not really got much goodness in it, but it made me feel good. Yeah, no so, problem. Don't worry. Yeah, there we go. So, what is the plan for this coming week? We've only got two more left, so it's go big or go home, really, isn't it? Oh, oh, the board's just falling to bar. Oh, somebody up there is telling me I'm right. That was a sign. Ah. That was a sign. Yeah, and I feel like I'm just, if I keep on track, I'm like a quarter of a pound under where I should be, I think, or thereabouts, almost. We're looking at what, if it's two pounds a week, should be up to 10, so I'm half a pound a little bit behind. But I, you could lose three pounds in a week. So... So what I want you to do is what Go I've been on. doing with a lot of the others as well, just to really speed up the weight loss, is just to try on. and get as rid of much grains as you can. So, you know, when you said when you went out, you had the, the steak and the veg, just try to keep all your meals kind of like this. Just either go yeah. for go for your protein and then salad or veg or fruit. And try and completely yeah. cut out the, the anything that's got the grains in. Because that that's what slows down your digestive system and ultimately slows down weight loss as well. Yeah. Does I don't really, sound... I don't like rice or pasta anyway. Yeah. I don't eat them. But my tummy's grumbling now. Is it? Um, <laughs> I'm having chicken, chicken in the sauce with spinach. And my husband's having the chicken with to in the sauce with tortellini yeah there we go i don't mind that but it's also very boring so i, I can leave it i can leave that pasta yeah perfect yeah right so i'll try um, that then so any more what are other grain foods then like bread uh, we know bread bread and anything that basically has got flour in as well yeah. so but you don't really have many crisp breads or rivitas stuff like that do you no no i don't like but them boring yeah so just stick yeah. to your, your basics and if you okay. can try and stay off the alcohol completely do you think that's doable yeah. for the next two weeks it is she says whilst marking test papers with a cherry gin with diet lemonade but that's because my friend bought it for my birthday and i would never normally drink in the week so this will be my last one <laughs> i can't i'm not gonna lie to you am i i could pretend that it wasn't sitting there but i am working yeah. Look. You could have oh, done yeah. it with Cherry Aid. I'd, not, I, I'd no, never know. I could have done, but I wouldn't never forgive myself. I tell my children at school that I'd never tell lies, so I'm never going to. Yeah, so I'll try and do that then. Yeah, I'll try so enjoy your drink tonight then. And then yeah. try and do two weeks without. And as okay. a reward, in two weeks' time, it'll be half term and you can definitely have some gin. <laughs> well, I've only got the end of this week. Oh, have you? Have you got uh, yeah, a I'm off term? I'm off next week and next Sunday. Well, this Friday, it's our 10 year anniversary, but next Sunday, we're going away for a night. Oh. So I do believe I can't promise that that one night, but I can save okay. myself for that one night and I can stick to something lighter. Yeah. And then I assure you, I'm literally doing school reports during half term and oh. sunbathing and resting if it's sunny. So yeah. I'm not going out or anything. I'm not going, I'm going to be a bit of a recluse. Good. But it's because I've got lots to do. So it'll keep me focused. And my husband's yeah. at work, so he won't be enticing me anywhere. And keep that, like you said, keep that day for your for your treat day. That's fine. Yeah. 10 years, Bad. well. Right. How many pounds shall we say then to lose for next week? Should we go for at least two and a half? That's or do you want to say three? No, let's say two and a half. That sounds good to because me. Because that gets me more on track then, doesn't it? Yeah. We'll be exactly okay. on track then. There, yeah. Okay. Wonderful. I'm going to be running at the printer when I'm waiting for my photocopying <laughs> to come. Getting my steps in. Yeah, just a bit of jogging on the spot. That's good for me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'll just run everywhere. <laughs> Everyone thinks I'm a funny runner. I'm like Phoebe, a friend, so... How are you? I'll just run around school, yeah, enjoying running, because I don't do it very often, so I'm not very focused. I just enjoy it while I last. Aww. So I'll do that. Okay, then. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I will speak to you next week. Okie dokie. All right. Thank you very much. Bye, Colleen. See you soon. Bye. Bye.